Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to teach you how to install Ubuntu inside a virtual machine using VMware Workstation in your own PC. Okay, first of all we must go to the Ubuntu website and download the latest image. Well, um, first of all we go to download here. Uh, in, the, in this example we can download either the desktop version or, or the server version. I will be picking the server version, okay? So just click on download and server. Now we can choose between two versions. I'm going to the version 15, which is the latest one. Let's click download. Okay, so the download is automatic, okay? Um, if it doesn't start coming, you should just click download now, okay? So, um, we are pausing this video now, and once the download is complete, we're going to open the VMware to start configuring the virtual machine, okay? Okay, we are now done downloading the Ubuntu distribution Linux, okay? Now we are going to open the VMware workstation, here it is. So first of all, we must click on create a new, new virtual machine here. So we must select installer disk image file, ISO. Now we click browse to select the downloaded file. I'm going to pick the Ubuntu 15 server. Let's click open. Now we click next. Okay. Now we simply type our information, our full name, the username, and password. Let's click next. Okay, so uh, here in location, I'm going to pick another location. I will use a different disk with some more disk space. Okay, this is the location where the virtual hard drive will be installed. Let's click next. Here we select the amount of size, the how many gigabytes our virtual disk will have. So let's pick just like 30 gigabytes. Now we click next. Okay, if we, we click customize hardware, we can select the amount of memory and the number of cores we wish to use. Just to show you, here you can pick the memory you wish. Okay, I'll keep in one gigabyte and we can select the number of threads, of course. Here we have some more configurations which I, I won't be entering right now. Okay, so let's click close. And now we will click finish. Now VMware is booting the installation of Ubuntu. Here it is. Let's just dismiss this message. So the installation is just beginning. Now as you can see, this installation is very, very simple because you're going to have some automated uh, facilities, yes, uh, and is plenty compatible with uh, VMware, okay? So, it's, we are almost done.
so that's it our installation is finished after uh, several minutes yes um, now we are in the login screen of Ubuntu first of all to access Ubuntu we must type the username we choose it before in my example I choose the username John and then type the password we configured that's it we are logged in our Ubuntu running under a VMware workstation virtual machine inside our PC uh, what's the basic difference between a virtual machine and a professional VPS server? In our PC, a virtual machine has a local IP address, just like this one. Yes. So, uh, in a with a local IP address, we are unable to run some services because we don't have a public IP address. We can do a port mapping inside our router. Yes, but some uh, internet providers offer some limitations, maybe uh, some port blocks or something like that. So uh, if we close our VMware, we can simply restart the virtual server just by clicking here. This is our installation, our recently installed Ubuntu. That's it. As we click here, we have this option, Play Virtual Machine or else we can edit settings to increase RAM, increase the disk space or something. Here it is, we can simply change the amount of RAM or the disk space whenever we wish, okay? Then to turn this machine on, we, you must click here, play virtual machine or else use these commands here, power on. Now uh, we will be prompted, okay, uh, just click yes to enable the SATA storage. Now our Ubuntu is booting, okay, let's just dismiss this message, it's about an update of VMware. Let's click remind me later. So that's it, our Ubuntu is again up and running. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, bye bye.